Okay, so like I was saying, the Apostille Q&A went very, very well. A lot of you asked, asked uh, really, really good questions. Your questions gave me a lot of clarity. So I wanna thank you all. Uh, I'm glad to see y'all here. I love y'all so much. I think about y'all all the time. And, um, you know, I think about how I can help make all of us better, right? What I can do to help all of us get to the next level. And one thing that I'm, I'm learning is that not everybody wants to go to the next level and everybody's next level ain't the same. Let me say that. Everybody kind of wants to go to the next level, but everybody's next level is not the same. Your next level is not the same as my next level. And you possibly don't even aspire to get to my next level, right? There are those who just want to, if I make four or $5,000 a month, I'll be good. I get that. I get that. Then there are others who say, if I make $10,000 a month, I'll be good. If I make $20,000 a month, I'll be good. I'll be good. And I, uh, I'm, I'm the one where, you know, I want to make enough money for um, generations upon generations for my family. That's when I'll be good. And not just make the money for those generations, not just to pass it down, but to pass them a skill, right? Where they know how to do it, what to do with it, how to multiply it. They have a heart of giving just like I do. That's the legacy that I'm creating. And to be honest with you, I'm creating it with all of you as well. Y'all are a part of my legacy. Y'all are a part of my giving spirit, really. I'm going to post my vision board just so that y'all can see it because one part of my vision board says that um, I will uh, motivate others and inspire others to their personal greatness. And so one thing that I don't want to do is get frustrated with people because their level of greatness is not as high as my level of greatness, right? But I, I am inspired by others who aspire to a higher level of greatness. That higher level doesn't have to be mine, but I love to see people who go get it. I love to see people who are serious about changing their lives. And that change don't have to be all the way up here. It could be if your, your change is $5,000 and you go get it, it excites me. It excites me. And I do everything in my power to get you there. But when I see people who are continually asking the same question and not taking action, some of those people just aren't ready yet. And I get it. I get that too. Because I have been battered and bruised. You hear me? I have been to a point where I had mommy brain for two years. And, and women know this, but for the guys out there, when you get pregnant, something happens to your brain, bro. I mean, you can't think. So when you see a woman crying and you saying, what's she crying about? It's emotions, some of it, but some of it is, man, my mind has gone completely blank and I just want to tie my shoes and I don't even remember how. It was that bad. It was that bad. And all I could do was cry like, man, I can't do nothing. And my brain is just blank and I can't force a thought into it. And I think for some women who are like I am, God has to dump you down to for you to be able to hold a baby because you're moving so fast. You're going so fast. Your mind is so high powered. You need to calm down. So it's like it's gone. What? That is traumatic. I had never heard of that happening to anybody else. But did that gum show happen to me? And even when I went back to work. Uh, after having my daughter, I, look, don't don't judge me. Mind your business. I breastfed for two years. <clears throat> so I still had a version of mommy brain. I know. Don't judge me. 
My cousin was talking about, girl, that ain't breastfeeding. That's a whole relationship. Don't judge me. Okay? Madison was breastfed for two years. Why was she breastfed for two years? Because I was too lazy to get up and get bottles and do all that. It was too much. So, you know, all I had to do was roll over. Yeah, that worked. So anyway, <clears throat> back to my story. Even after I went back to work, I had mommy brain, right? Where my brain was not fully functioning. And to be honest with you, I feel like even now, I don't catch on to information as quickly as I used to. New subjects. Um, my brain doesn't move as fast as it used to. I'm more easily overwhelmed than I used to be. I used to, good man, just be juggling and all of it is good. And I could look over here to have a conversation, watch TV. I'm not as, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like I used to be. And it's frustrating to me sometimes because I still think that I can do what I used to do. But I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to learn how to deal with that. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just being real with y'all, okay? Even, even in working situations, I felt like a real idiot. I think some things like that uh, will lower your self-confidence and what you can do, what you are capable of, because you, this might not be your zhush, what you are capable of doing and doing very well, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I've gone through that. <clears throat> but I think that I know, I do know in 45 years, I do understand what I'm good at, right? However, my confidence in several things, because I have gone through challenges, it knocked my confidence down. So I've had to rebuild my confidence. And I want to tell you something. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Do not give up. Do not stop. Push through it. You cannot do this or anything else if you do not keep fighting. Push through it. I'm not going to accept anything less from you. You push through it. You are capable. You are able. The word of God said he did not give us a spirit of fear, but that of love, of power, and of a sound mind. You decree and you declare that you have a sound mind right now. I, TJ, decree and declare that I have a sound mind right now. I decree and declare that my whole family, and that includes you, we have a sound mind. We don't have a spirit of fear. We don't have, you know, <laughs> we don't have a spirit of fear. We have spirits of love. We have spirits of power. And we have spirits of a sound mind. So you push through. You take the action that is required. I've told you what to do. You do it. Don't complain about it. Just do it. You know what to do. Do it. If you need a mentor, I'm here.